Hey YouTubers, Zendry here. I am back with Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, as promised. And we are ready to continue our adventure. Last time we took care of visiting Bill and getting him changed back into a person from his failed experiment. And we have got now down here below Cerulean City, uh, past the uh, shrub that's in our way, and we're able to continue on south. I also have finally, officially, made our Beedrill part of our party, and you notice its name is Cranky Pants, and Cranky Pants is one of my cats, and yes, her name really is Cranky Pants, because when we got her, she had a name that we didn't like, which was Bella, and she didn't really fit Bella, and what she did fit was Cranky Pants. <laughs> She's still kind of a Cranky Pants after all these years and it just kind of stuck and she's kind of um well, she's moody and she's kind of dangerous when she wants to be kind of like the the beedrill so you know i figured that's a good one but let's carry on down here we definitely want to be looking for some new pokemon uh, to fill out our party we only have the six i see a pidgeot over there which we haven't technically caught one of those oh it looks like we can go down from the top here and actually get to catch things. Whoops. But, uh, yeah, we want to catch a few more things, not only for experience, but we're looking for a couple of needs in the party that I want to make sure we get. Pidgeys are not them, neither are Rattatas and things like that. So we'll look around here for a few minutes, but you know, obviously we need some more coverage uh, in our party. Uh, that is one of the ones I'm thinking about right there. We definitely need a fire type, and that is the one I'm thinking of. I typically have Arcanine. Arcanine is a let's go Pikachu exclusive, so we don't have him this time. But, you know, I'm all for a Vulpix. Now, let's see if I can... Okay, that works. I was about to say I'm a little rusty. I wanted to mention why. So, uh, I was on a roll putting the Pokemon videos out did like three in a row and I was having a great time and wanted to continue that and and I was getting a lot of good feedback and comments and lots of views and I definitely wanted to keep that going and uh, for you guys but uh, I hurt my hand the week really the week leading up to Thanksgiving and I couldn't play anything <laughs> and so uh, I mentioned this in the Diablo video that just came out but I, I just couldn't play at all and so I just kind of had to take a week off from YouTube and um it just didn't work out real well keeping that momentum up from the uh, the previous game so i wanted to get back to pokemon right away so finally we're back and we can keep playing so i hope to do a bunch of these videos here the next few weeks and really make some progress so let's see what we've got here for our butterfree i'm not planning at the moment to keep butterfree in the party so you know what i'm i don't have a problem with Psybeam, but i'm not too worried about if we don't take it I have an idea for uh, maybe uh, a party member to contribute for us in the psychic department, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Hey, it looks like uh, we did get a level up for Onyx as well. Now, Onyx is an interesting case. I may keep Onyx. I haven't decided. So that's kind of the next one on the watch list. It does, it's like, a, I believe it's a rock and a ground type, and that is a huge uh, problem uh, for coverage and everything for us right now. So. That might be a great idea, so we're going to keep that one in mind. There is a Jigglypuff. I said Vulpix is actually the main thing I wanted to catch while we're here. Speaking of which, we need to add that to the party so we can start leveling up. And we'll do that right now because I want to make sure we don't go too long. Now the question is who goes away? It's a great idea here to maybe move the Magikarp. So we don't, we've got, potentially can learn a water move for Eevee. And there's plenty of other water types coming up. And I think I've already decided in my head what I think the water type is I want to use as well. And I've also have used Magikarp Gyarados before. So I was trying to avoid that if I could. And I think for now, He's obviously not going, he's not doing anything until he evolves. And he's not really even doing water moves for us right now, so he's pretty useless. If I'm not planning on using Gyarados, then there's really no reason to keep him there. So I think we're going to 
Swap them out. So let me figure out how the heck to do that. <laughs> Bag. Pokemon box. And you can see from the Pokemon box, I have cleaned this out. We are limiting ourselves to the six. So let's do this. Let's add to party. Now I, I will wait to name the Vulpix because I want to kind of be sure of that. But that's my leading candidate right now. Obviously it needs to evolve. Uh, Vulpix by itself is probably not going to be strong enough. But we'll do that, and I am confident it's time to say goodbye to our Magikarp. So we will do that right now, and then we will continue on our way. And good, we got some more candy, so we'll keep that for later. I've been using the candy a little bit here and there just to boost the uh, named Pokemon in our party. Um, I mentioned before, we don't even have a judge function right now, so we don't even have any way of telling really a good Pokemon from a kind of a meh one, so we are just going to boost them a little bit here and there. I think this is the daycare. Yeah, so I'm not going to leave one here this time, but if you were playing this game, you could leave a Pokemon here, and it would slowly level up as you played, and you could come back and get it, and the price is based on how many levels it got. You would have to pay that before you could get your Pokemon back. So it is a good way to, to kind of work on a seventh Pokemon at the same time, but based on my rule that I put at the beginning of the Let's Play, I wouldn't be able to then have six, have six Pokemon in my party right now. I would only have the five. And it looks like we've got something else we can pick up over here. Still got Dotty the uh, little Pokemon following me behind there. Eevee's on my head. Wow, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, there's our buddy. I wonder if he's going to ask us to fight again. Yeah, I think that's the only way. Just for story's sake. I'm on guard duty. I take my duty very seriously. But he's thirsty. Wish I had some tea to drink. Can't let you pass. So that's what I wanted to show you. So you, you can't go any further right now through the tunnel here. And let's, just to make that totally clear, where is our map? Let's go to our map for a second. So yeah, we really want to go down to Vermilion City because that is where the SS Anne is. And at the end of the last episode, we got a ticket for the SS Anne from Bill. So we want to go use that, but we got to get there. So we were heading down south and it looks like we're blocked. But let's go see what our buddy Gary over here is doing and let's talk to him and maybe he's got an idea. Last time we saw him, he was running frantically away from Bill's house on the uh, bridge <laughs> from Nugget Bridge. Yeah, it seems like we can't pass through the gate. Yeah, that's what we found too. But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. Well, you know, hey, that sounds pretty good. It's a bit dark and spooky. Well, that, that doesn't sound very good, but, you know, I think that's what we got to do. And, um, what are you doing? I wonder what the sparkly thing was. That was this was stuck in your hair. You got a revive from Gary. Okay, well that was kind of a creepy little, you know, cutscene there. <laughs> it says, "Hold still. Walk slowly towards you." With a creepy expression on his face, and then the screen goes dark. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Gary, it's quarantine, buddy. Six feet apart. Don't come any close, any closer to us. Are those SS tickets you have? Yeah. I've got one extra. No way, they're for the SS Anne, right? I heard it's a luxury cruise. It's traveled all over the world. Well, you know, good job, Gary. I'm letting you go, buddy. You know why I only know one other person in this whole, <laughs> this whole world, you and your Professor Oak. And he ain't getting out anytime soon. <laughs> so I guess I... Yeah, I guess I let him know that I got it from, from Bill and he was a person. Okay, so he's he knows the truth now, which good for him. Okay, I think I'll press on ahead. See you there. Okay, well, you do that. I mean, why would we travel together in safety and numbers and all of that kind of stuff? We'll just split up and make ourselves targets. Totally fine. 
All right, well, there's stairs going down, but there's this random dude over here. What are you doing? Pokemon is on my shoulder. It will let me know when it's ta with its tail when there's an item on the ground. Yeah, I meant to mention that in a previous episode. They will do that, and I got really used to the Pikachu one, but i got to get used to Eevee doing it. So I'm not going to try to get every single thing in here, but if we watch Eevee, it's kind of hard to tell with her directly. Oh, see how she just waves her... Well, it might be this one that she sees. <laughs> Which I don't really need a waving Eevee tail to find that one. It's just laying in the middle of the floor. But we'll go back up here and just kind of... Let's just do the red path and let's just see what we find. So if she does it again, I don't want to go too fast. And I don't want to take too much time. But it looks like there's just some free stuff on the ground. Now, I, I don't know how it works, like what kind of radius it is. So she might be like... I see it, but it's two squares over to the right or something like that. I'm not gonna, okay, so she just did it again. And of course I talked to my Pokemon instead of looking on the ground. No, I don't wanna do that, thank you. What is, okay, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's kinda hard with the Pokemon being out. Or maybe it's just in front of me, I don't know. You know what? You guys look for them when you have time. I might come back here and look, but I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Uh, and I keep hitting the button and talking to my little dude here, which, by the way, you need to evolve. You need to evolve into something better. But we will take the ones that are wide out, wide in the wide open there. There's a lure. Fine with that. <laughs> Did you see that expression on his face when he's jogging in front of me? Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> oh boy, I'd never known that before. All right, well, that wasn't exactly dark, spooky, and it really didn't take that long, so I don't know what all the worry was about. Oh, trying to click on that. There we go. Okay, well, I'm apparently one of the lucky ones. Anything else? Anything else at all? Just a plant. Okay. Well, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> Thought there was going to be a little bit more to it. Hey, but there's a bunch of grass right in front of here, so I wonder if we'll find anything else worthy to catch. Looks like we might have some trainers. kind of want to see what's in here without getting myself, you know, caught. Let's see. Wow, there's a bunch of... Okay, well, you know what? We're going to be around here for a minute, so let's, let's go talk to the trainers. We need the experience. We need the, the XP. So that's what we do in the Pokemon games. We, we battle. Picnic or Nancy? Okay, Nancy. Nidoran, female. Good Pokemon. Poison type, maybe ground type too. Can't quite remember. So I don't really have... think about it for a minute. Man, I'm already rusty and once again I didn't bring my type chart with me so that was not super good but it got us started. Not very effective. Yep, that's not right. Nidoran has double kick as well. <laughs> and that's actually gonna hurt. So you know what? Let's see here. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't have a real good answer to this, to be honest. He's got Gust. I'll just let him in there for a turn while I think about it. Probably would go for water if I had an actual water move. That actually was something I didn't think about. I probably should have picked Beedrill just because he was also poison type. see what the flying move does. If not, we may just use tackle a few turns. Okay, I thought for in the back of my mind, I thought flying was going to be alright. Good enough, anyway. <laughs> alright, so... 
Jigglypuff is what, fairy type? Is it also normal or just fairy type? Hmm. Yeah, let's stay with that for now. Probably gonna put me to sleep anyway. Figured we'd at least poison it and get some uh, XP or XP HP getting taken off. Whoa there! Whoa there! That wasn't even a super effective move, and it did all that. Wow! Wow! Okay, well let's um. <laughs> I am trying to think. Trying to think what the best thing would be for right now. Eh, let's just let's just spread the love around for a minute. Man, he needs some more moves too. I'd love to get uh, some better bug moves on him. All right, just gonna use bide. Not much I can do about that. At least that did some damage. And the poison hurts. Let's go for that again for now. Uh-oh. Bad things are gonna happen. Alright, come on, poison. Yeah. Okay, so not not a great <laughs> not a great battle. Definitely not a great battle, but you know. Well, I feel a need to Perhaps heal up a bit before we go see the buddy next to her. All right. Just got regular potions and we've got some super potions. So regular potions do 20, which is unfortunately not really uh, probably going to be enough. These do 60. Yeah, it's close enough. We're probably going to be out of town here again in a minute. We're going to stock up on potions, so I don't mind doing that. I think Gracie's probably okay for now. All right. Whoa, I don't want to catch any Pidgeys. Quit listening in on us. <laughs> oh, we were fighting. Technically, you were listening in on us, Camper Ricky. Sandshrew. I like Sandshrew, too. All right, so, man, two types in a row that I have trouble dealing with. So we've got a ground type. Buzzy Buzz is not going to work on this one. I'm trying to remember what we did the last time we saw Sand True. We might have done exactly that because I didn't know what to do then either. But I, I kind of remember Bite being a good move and it had a chance to do the the flinch, so I think that's how we got through it last time. Probably ought to, you know, make some notes to myself about a couple of these trouble Pokemon that I can't ever remember. That's what pro Pokemon players would do. I'm not a pro Pokemon player. To be honest, that is part of what makes the game fun to me, is I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Um... Oop, I keep turning the Pokeball Plus around the wrong way and not moving the arrow correctly. Alright, Cranky Pants. <laughs> the name fits. <laughs> Alright, one of my favorite Pokemon. Unfortunately not on the team this time. 
that was intentional because I just used him way too much before. I mean, almost every playthrough of the original I had Nidoran in there. Now, was I'm trying to remember, was he poison type only or ground and poison type? I can't remember. But well, we're doing fine, so. Not too worried about it yet. I'll just keep hitting you. Not worried about the poison. That's another reason we have Beedrills, just because I don't like dealing with poison, so. I can put him in there. He can take poison shots and not get actually get poisoned. That works pretty well. All right, good job there, buddy, Cranky Pants. The real Cranky Pants is probably outside the door of my office right now. I'm wondering why I won't let her in. Fury attack. Well, that's cool. We didn't have a fourth move, so at least we've got the fourth move now. I don't know off the top of my head about Fury Attack, but it sounds cool. <laughs> we'll have to see if it is cool. It's another part of playing with new Pokemon that we haven't played with before. They booze sometimes. Alright, how are we doing on our healing up and stuff? Uh, about the same. I think we're good for now. So let's go kind of around here. Oh, we got to go up here. See if there was anything over here too. Nope. But I did see a Pokeball over here. Man, people just leave stuff all over the place. He found a Super Potion. Well, that's cool since we just used two of them. So that definitely helps us a little bit. Now let's look around the grass. Let's see if we see anything that's interesting. Oh, it looks like we've got another trainer. All right, well, nothing is spawning at the moment. So I think that we're going <laughs> to talk to this. I'll battle you like a gentleman. And we're going to talk to this... Fine gentleman standing out here waiting to battle us with his Pokemon. Gentleman Edward. Oh, you got an Eevee. Well, excellent taste, Mr. Edward. Does your Eevee, which is a normal type, happen to know a fighting type move? Uh, mine does. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry, old chap. You either need to have a fighting type move or you need to get a faster Eevee. <laughs> Super annoying and frustrating. It was frustrating, wasn't it? You didn't even really get to do anything. All right, other bull picks. A guard spec. These little light posts that have these rotating things on them down there are kind of like wonder what they're about. Alright, well, we've got a Vulpix, so I'm not really too worried about that. Like I said, I would like to catch a few things for experience, but I don't want to catch a bunch of stuff we've already got, so I kind of want to catch new stuff and then still, you know, still throw it away if we don't want it. I've never seen you around. Are you good? Sailor Elijah. Tentacool. Very cool. Very very neat Pokemon. I believe Tentacool was the first Pokemon I caught in Pokemon Go. Alright, Water Poison type. Buzzy Buzz. That is one I'm pretty sure I know the types on. Yeah. Super effective. And paralyzed. It may be unable to move, but apparently not. Apparently he's going to use something that I'm going to avoid the attack. And let's just do a quick attack. I think that's enough to get him. Hopefully I'm right. Yeah. Why right, we save a, a PP for our buzzy buzz. 107 experience points. Excellent. You're too good. <laughs> I love the expressions on these trainers faces when they lose all right well not really that exciting walking around okay well there's a jigglypuff we've seen those before i thought there might be another somebody just went through here and just lost everything in their pockets they must have had holes in their pockets or something 
Paralyzed heal, that's fine. We like those. We'll take those. Pidgey, whoa, Pidgey. I could go for that Pidgeot just for XP. Let's give it a try. We don't get it. We're not going to cry about it. But that's potentially um, a good, uh, you know, a good catch. We may even... Let's even use a Raspberry. Let's try. I always laugh. I can't tell if you guys can hear the Pokemon uh, Plus <laughs> making all sorts of extra noises on the microphone or not. Excellent. So we one first first uh, first throw of the ball, new Pokemon. So the bonus multiplier is going to be really good, and that's going to help XP. And yep, leveled up Dottie, leveled up Onix. I would love to see Dottie evolve. I don't know if what what the level is for that. I want to think it's in the 20s, but I could be wrong. Alright, Pidgeotto. We'll tuck him in our bag to get rid of later. Alright, we're not going to take you, Vulpix. We're going to keep on going around. Man, it's a Pidgey's. So yeah, we went over there. Looks like we got another... Tr well, we got two trainers. I'll take care of one at a time. Me? Okay, well, I'll play. Well, at least you're casual about it and like that... Like the gentleman above who is much more intense about it. Charmander! So yeah, we don't really have a water type. Not a great time for bugs. Rock ground type. Hmm. Am I misremembering that? Am I thinking about it backwards? Eh, let's give him one shot. We it'll boost his experience points if he gets one turn in anyway. So he's he's kind of lagging behind. In fact, if we decide to keep him, he might be a. Yeah, this will tell me what I need to know. Yeah, it's not very effective. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. But uh, he's lagging behind a little bit, so he might be a good candidate for a couple of those rare candies down the road. Um, saving those until I know I need them, though. Yeah, that works. Super effective. So even without water, we've got a counter to fire, it looks like. So um, that's good. I don't know why I can't remember all of these, but, you know... Charmander, you're gone. Bye bye. Thank you for playing. And Onyx, you're getting some work done. Getting some work done. Yeah. You did it all by yourself, buddy. I don't think we've seen you in a few episodes because you've been lagging behind. So that'll help a little bit. Let's go see your bud over here. Huh? You want to talk to me? I hope that wasn't how he said it. I think he said, hey, oh, you want to talk to me? <laughs> Camper Jeff, we don't need any tood. <laughs> we have we have a Pokemon named Cranky Pants in our party. We don't need any more attitude. All right, Gracie. So... All right. I think it's a good, a good time for Butterfree. <laughs> I always say that and I don't really know. <laughs> I'll know in one turn if it's a good time for Butterfree or not. Yep, you use growth. Ooh, fancy. Sparkly. Alright. Gust. <laughs> yeah, that worked. That worked. 89 experience points. Beat Camper Jeff. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm tempted to catch the other Pidgeotto, but we've done that once, so don't want to do it again. Hey, we made it to Vermilion City. What a great... A great thing that is. So let's go 
Well, I'll tell you what, we're getting close to the end of the video. I will go heal up and stuff off camera and we'll, I'll talk to a few people around town. If I see somebody interesting to talk to here, I will put that in the next video. But until then, take care everybody. Bye bye.